Do you guys remember the Chaos story? It was a completely new storyline separate from Aoife with this crew of characters in four different maps. With this storyline not continuing after Black Ops 4, we thought this storyline was gone for good. However, three years have passed and Treyarch has just reintroduced the most important character from this storyline. Chaos might just be canon in the Dark Aoife story. This is one of the wildest things I've ever seen Treyarch do for the zombie storyline. I never would have imagined this. To fully explain it, we need to give you a little bit of context. Chaos story revolves around our four crew of characters with the female character Scarlet Rhodes being the most important. She has enlisted the help of the three other characters to help find her missing father, Alistair Rhodes. That name is going to be very, very important. Keep a note on that name. Looking at the framework of our Vanguard zombie storyline, all evolves around these artifacts that are tied to different Elder Gods. Now we know that the main evil Dark Aether Elder God is Cortifex, who is symbiotically tied to Von List, which gives him the ability to raise and command the dead. We are working with a demonologist called Gabriel Craft, who during expeditions in 1944 came across several mysterious runes which were tied to different artifacts in the Elder Gods that we use in game. Now that context is important for you to understand that we are dealing with artifacts here, but going over to the Chaos story in 1909, hundreds of dissident members of the Rosicrucian Order created a new cult under the leadership of the High Priest of Chaos. The goal to force mankind to evolve by acquiring the Sentinel artifacts and accessing the knowledge of the Nine. Now, Alistair Rhodes learned about this new order and started a journey to access the knowledge of the Nine and empower humanity with it. Now, later on in one of the maps, Alistair Rhodes gets kidnapped by the Nine. It's up to the four characters, including Scarlet Rhodes, who is Alistair Rhodes' daughter, collect and complete each Sentinel artifact which is based on a specific god of mythology. Already there is quite a few similarities there. Here's where the Chaos story 100% connects to Dark Aether with this new radio from Kraft where he speaks about how he knows Alistair Rhodes. It reminds me of when I studied the writings of Alistair Rhodes, an amateur demonologist and personal hero of mine. Rhodes wrote about different objects of power that he called sentinel artifacts but i was never able to find out exactly what they were nevertheless if we can find the relic we seek at shino numa i am quite certain i can use it on von list and trap court effects in that little scepter of his now, this is incredibly exciting. Now, does this fill out mean that Chaos is coming back? We're going to be getting more Chaos maps with this crew. Seems pretty unlikely, but it doesn't rule out the chance that it could happen in the future. Chaos Story is officially canon to the Dark Aether storyline. It might not have been canon to Aether, but it's now canon to Dark Aether. The storyline was originally created by Jason Blundell and Craig Houston, and it wasn't received too well during Black Ops 4, which is why it seemed like we were never going to see it again. But to see it spoken about like this in Shinonuma of all places, it's just incredible. Now, there are actually quite a few similarities to things in this Easter egg that line up with Chaos. Being at the end of the Easter egg, you are creating a relic mirror, which actually looks a lot like a center artifact. Each Sentinel artifact from Black Ops 4 had a very different design as they were all tied to different Norse gods, but they do have such a clear resemblance that it's almost like as if this is insinuating a Sentinel artifact. So the Chaos story is canon in the Dark Aether storyline, but does that mean that they are connected? Well, I wouldn't quite jump to that conclusion quite yet, as looking deeper into that radio, Kraft mentioned that Alistair wrote about the Sentinel artifacts, but Kraft was never able able to find out exactly what they were. And I don't think outside of Alistair Rhodes and the Chaos crew, anyone will ever know what the Sentinel artifacts actually are because in Chaos, when a Sentinel artifact is activated, a trial begins. And during the trial being activated and it being complete, time stands completely still for the surrounding world outside of the trial. So no one will ever know what happens during those trials and during those events. Without those trials taking place and those Sentinel artifacts, the Chaos story does not happen. And it throws in a bunch of questions if the Chaos story even happened within the same timeline as the Dark Aether. Most of the events in the Chaos story happened during the 1910s. And we 
or 30 plus years ahead from that. And Craft has mentioned that he studied him, which is obviously past tense. So we don't know how long ago he studied him. We don't know if those events happened at the same time in this universe or not. And one of the biggest plot holes, if this is true, is that Alistair Rhodes in the Chaos story is no longer alive. In the end of Ancient Evil, we see he got turned to stone by Medusa. Like her daughter and the rest of the characters went out of their way, completed these Sentinel artifact trials to get to him for being betrayed by Medusa and him being turned to stone. Like that's a pretty big F. There is so much that happens at the end of the Chaos story in Black Ops 4 with Ancient Evil. Like Medusa kisses Scarlet and learns the entirety of human history through her mind and is going to use that knowledge to try and open the Library of Alexandria. Two out of the four Chaos characters Bruno and Shaw ended up being evil as they've been corrupted by the nine. Scarlet was left unconscious and Diego having to pick up the pieces but we never knew what happened next and to be honest I don't think we ever will. I would love to see this open the doors for Truk to explore more crazy maps. I think the thing with Chaos that it lent so heavily on the Norse mythology we got some really interesting map locations which we never would have seen in Aoife and we might not see in Dark Aoife but now that they made it clear that this storyline is somehow connected brings a lot of excitement for what they could do in the future as well as looking back at the chaos storyline and being a little bit more excited and appreciative of it now that parts of it are now relevant very interesting because obviously we're going to get a continuation on from the cold war storyline where it really did seem like it was grounded in reality we didn't go to any really wacky crazy places around the globe but this prequel story to it inside of Vanguard is giving us that opportunity to go to places we wouldn't necessarily go to with Cold War. I know that there is still one more map coming to Vanguard, which is going to be set in Egypt. It's going to be the finale. I'm really interested to see where Triarch take it, especially with what else we can see from the Chaos storyline in the Dark Aether story. Let me know your thoughts on this down below. Like this video if you're excited that the Chaos storyline is somehow returning in the Dark Aether storyline. And if you want an Easter egg guide for Shinonuma, it's on your screen right now. Click it. I'll be with you in just a few moments.